Usually WordPress forms will send you an email confirmation or notification which looks like this. If you're using a good contact form, you can see the entries on the back end also. But sometimes you need a, a bit more difficult solution. And therefore, today I'm going to show you how to create a form like this. It's an application form. It will be sent to the customer with a PDF attachment and you can customize the PDF as you want in a way that those fields here are taken from the form fields. For example, in this file, those two are taken from the form fields and all this information below here is also taken from the fo form fields. And you can download this PDF file like this. So if you're interested, then jump in and let's take a closer look. Also, I have created two videos on how to create the inquiry form for WooCommerce, which is shown on the single product page. And I made also another video on how to show the contact form fields only if the product is out of stock. So if you're interested, then links to those videos are in the description of this video. Now, in order to get this thing going, we need to install two plugins. Therefore, go to Plugins, Add New and search for Fluent Forms. And the two you need to install is a contact form plugin WP Fluent Forms and Fluent Forms PDF. Install and activate them. Forms is activated. Let's activate the PDF generator. Now take a look. This message appears here that you need to download fonts. So click here to download and configure install fonts so it took approximately 30 seconds and now i'm good to go next one we need to build a form therefore go to fluent forms and new form you can choose between the templates but i'm going to show you how to create the blank form since i'm going to build a application form i need name fields also i need an email but in order to show it in a nice way, I'm going to drop here a two column container. Inside this one, there's going to be email address. And here I want to get an identification code. Next one is going to be two column container again. And here I'm going to need a date of birth. I'm going to search for time and date date format is here so date of birth and next one is a phone number so I'm gonna save it and go to settings and integrations under the form settings you can customize the thank you message now choose email notification and activate this one here and let's configure it send to email Enter this email address. You want this email notification to be sent. You can change the subject and you can change this one here. You can add the short codes here, for example, name and choose this one here. But I want to show all the data, plain HTML. Now under the advanced from name is first name and last name from email is my own email address. It should be related to your domain, otherwise it may end up in the spam folder. Reply to is a customer email and save notification. Now go to PDF feeds and add a PDF field. Choose a template. I'm not gonna change anything here right now because I want to show you how does it look like. So save feed settings and go back to email notification. Open it up once more. And now there is a PDF attachment here. Open up the advanced and select the PDF attachment and save it. Now let's test it out. I'm gonna go to pages, add new, give it a test, give it a name form test. And now I have two ways to insert the form here. First is just by choosing the fluent forms block or the other one grab this shortcode here 
So publish. Okay, let's test it out. I'm gonna fill the fields and submit. Now let's take a look at the entries here. Here is the entry. And here is a PDF form. Looks like this. But since I want it to look like a agreement form or something like that, I'm gonna tweak the settings and integration. So PDF feeds, open it up. And you'll see what happens here. PDF title, it is one here. And this is a table with a content. So I'm gonna delete both of them and tweak it a bit. Here are the short codes I can use. All the fields, general short codes, and, and the entry attributes. So this is a, a agreement. And now let's imagine that I have a, some kind of agreement text here, which contains placeholders. For example, here goes the name. Therefore, this is an agreement between this guy and me. Now I need to add the identification code of the customers. Therefore, this one goes here. ID code. And below, name of the applicant. Once again, first name and last name. Okay, this is a first name only. I'm gonna add the last name also. So name of the applicant, first name, last name, date of birth goes here. ID code here, phone number here. I'm going to delete this one here and add date. And now I'm going to save it. And if I refresh the previous version, I can already see the preview of the PDF form here. So in order to keep this tutorial short, I'm not going to tweak it, but uh, you can basically customize it as, as you want. If you want to get rid of this powered by Fluent forms here, you need to purchase um, a premium version because with a free version, this one is added here. One more thing, if you want to send the applicant a copy of the application form in a PDF file, then go to email notification, add notification, give it a name, for example, applicant copy, send to email, select a field and email, subject, application copy, add short codes, all data, here is a copy of your data sent today. You will find the PDF version in the attachment of this email. And once again, check this option here. From name, your company name. From email, your company email you are using. Reply to also the same email. Now save notification and let's test it out. I'm gonna refresh it and once again, Jack Mac. Now, since I filled all the fields, I'm going to submit it and let's take a look at the emails sent out. So application copy here with a PDF attached. Let's open it up and there it is. And new form submission here with a PDF attached. Let's open it up the same and Let's take a look at the entries. Here is the latest entry. I'm going to open it up and there is a PDF file with all the information also shown here. 
Now, as you saw, it wasn't so difficult to accomplish, and therefore, if you find this tutorial helpful and want to support me, then press thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and you will be the first to be notified about new tutorials. Meanwhile, take care.